Hi, Bill. Uh, just what did you see from Cam Newton and the uh, in the attempt to come back there at the end? Yeah, I thought our team competed hard. We, you know, scored. You know, we covered a kickoff, got the ball back, and you know, got it to the one yard line. And and uh, you know, Seattle made a good play. So I give them credit; they deserve a win. Next question, Tara Sullivan. Uh, sorry, no, uh, Steve Sanchez, but followed by Tara Sullivan. Thanks, Stacy. How you doing, Bill? Um, Bill, um, this is the second game in a row. Your offensive line uh, played flawlessly. No penalties. Uh, how would you assess them today? Yeah, I mean, we we competed hard. We did a lot of things uh, well. We just came up a little bit short. So it was, there, were, there were good things in the game, but it just you know, wasn't quite good enough. Seattle was a little bit better, and you know, they deserve credit for that. Next question, Tara Sullivan, followed by Henry McKenna. Hi, Bill. Um, just wondering if you'd share a little thoughts for, for James White. We obviously all heard the, the tragic news that he's dealing with, and it's been a rough week for you, for the franchise, for a few losses. So just any thoughts you can share for him and how you guys hope to kind of support him in these these coming weeks? Yeah, well, of course, our hearts go out to him, so. Next question, Henry McKenna, followed by Greg Bedard. Bill, on the final play with, with um, the offense on the goal line, um, what, what were you guys thinking in terms of decision making? Obviously, I don't know. I wondered if like there's a level of thinking all the way back to the Super Bowl where you know the Seahawks threw the ball. Whether you guys are trying to avoid a situation like that, or um, just what was was running through the coach's mind as they make the decision there. Um, about what you would think it would be. We had one play to score, and we tried to go with what we thought was our best play. What else is there to think about? Next question, Greg Bedard. Hey, Bill. Um, about the last play, there are some people who are already criticizing Josh as being too predictable, same grouping, running. Um, where do you stand as far as you know, to just be able to execute well enough from the one yard line to punch in there, regardless of pretty much whatever you do. Uh, yeah, yes. So, so you think you think just the execution was lacking down there? No, I said at the beginning that I thought the Seattle made a good play. I think I said that at the beginning of the at this. Next question, Alan Siegel, followed by Steve Sanchez. Bill, I know you have to look at the, the films to have a complete um, idea of, of what went on, but in terms of execution against you tonight, as you think back quickly, did it take a, a, an extraordinary number of high execution plays by a great player, Russell Wilson, really put you in a position to have to come back and you know face what you did tonight? Well, Russell Wilson's a great player. Um, he does everything well. He's extremely hard to defend, and he hurt us tonight in pretty much every way possible. Um, he's he's very very difficult to handle. And, you know, they have some a lot of good weapons with them that he can use um, in the running game. You know, Brown on the offensive line. You know, they got the ball outside. Uh, he made you know. Three great throws on the three long touchdowns, um, you know, two of which were very well defended, and the other one, you know, it wasn't bad. There was a guy right in his face, and he still still made a great throw. So, you know, you just just have to give him credit. Um, yeah, he definitely stressed us um, a lot with his scrambles, with his long balls, with his accuracy on the zones. Um, he just did everything well, and um, 
He's very, very hard to defend. We're going to go to Doug Kide, followed by Matt Petrie. Was there a thought at all to take a timeout after the long play to Julian there at the end? Seattle took a timeout. I mean, what are you talking about? I think the uh, clock ran down from 36 seconds to 13 after the 18 yard completion to Edelman. Yeah, well. We'll go to the next question, Matt Vitor. Bill, did, did Nikhil take a step in, in terms of his showing some things in terms of his toughness and his in his uh, his ability to, to kind of bounce back on, on, on some things tonight? I think Nikhil's a tough kid. I think our team took a whole step, a uh, big step in terms of just the competition and you know the the way we you know battled and competed against Seattle and um it's just disappointing that we came up short, but um, the competitive level is high. We just have to coach better and play better and just, you know, do things a little bit different, to, a little bit better to, you know, to, to win a game like this instead of, you know, coming up a yard short. But I, I thought our a lot of, you know, I think our team stepped up collectively as a team, um, you know, and then competed again right down to the end, the last two minutes of the game. Well, three, whatever, four minutes of the game, you know, the offensive drive, the kickoff coverage, the defensive stop, the offensive drive again. I mean, we just, you know, we, we did a lot of things right there. Um, and unfortunately, it just was not quite enough. And last question, Steve Sanchez. Hey, Bill. Um, there was twice in the game you were double digits in a deficit. Um, what did you think of Cam Newton's composure during that time? Uh, again, I thought that our team competed hard um, throughout the game. Cam, the entire offense, the coaching staff, the defense. I mean, they, were, they made plays against us. Uh, we made some plays against them. Um, you know, the game went back and forth. I mean, it was a... It was... A, multitude of battles within the game um and they won some and we won some and i thought we we competed right to the, from the opening kickoff to the final whistle um i said it just just came up a little bit short I and mean, it's same thing that happened in 16. so yeah. thank you coach thanks everyone